everyone, Dennis Kay here with Belize Islands Real Estate, giving a big shout out to Marie Kelly, who bought me my Starbucks today. Thank you very much, Marie. I'm looking forward to jumping on a Zoom call with you here later on this afternoon, if you're available, or maybe first thing tomorrow morning. And this video is going to be about opportunity and how quickly you can take advantage of opportunities when they come up. Now, this isn't to say that for some of you, it's not the right time. And I never, ever push anybody to make a decision if it's not the right time for them. But I got an email over the weekend. I'll tell you about this one. A guy said he's been following me on YouTube for years. And uh, we, have, we have emails, personal emails, going back to 2013. And he's been researching Belize even before that. He says he's been looking at Belize for 15 years. Never bought anything yet, all right? Uh, doesn't really have any plans to buy anything quite yet because he's not ready. And I totally respect that. You know what? He'll, he'll buy when he's ready, you know, when the right opportunity comes along and he's in a good position and he, and he feels the need to move forward, he'll do it. And I'll be so happy to work with him when that time comes. But until then, it's been 15 years, you know. But he'll make it happen because Belize is in his blood. And I know that's true of a lot of my clients. I had a client on, on a phone call, I think about six, seven days ago, uh, where they had planned to move to Belize four years ago, but end up making a different choice. And uh, anyways, now is the right time to, to choose Belize for them. And so they're moving ahead with their plans now. So that's just to say a lot of you have been looking for a long time and researching and comparing. And I get emails all the time. Dennis, I've, I've been looking at the following and it'll always be like Belize, Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, Panama. Uh, can you tell me about the differences between them all? And I, I do, you know, I go through some of the, the major uh, pros and cons of each area as far as I know them to be. But, uh, you know, some of you are in a position to, to move and when an opportunity comes up, to take advantage of it. And that's what I want to talk about today. Because for those of you who have Belize in a holding pattern, where you just like me sending you information, you look at each deal that comes along, you have some questions, you know, that's all well and good. But uh, some of you are in a position now to pull the trigger and maybe you're just not quite sure what to do. So for that, I would say, again, get, get out a piece of paper like I often suggest and write uh, on this piece of paper, write, I'm thinking of buying this property and write a line down the center and on the left-hand side, write all the reasons why you should not. All right, why, why isn't this the right property for me or, or why should I not do this? And on the right-hand side of the paper, write all the reasons why you should, right? And a step further, if this isn't the right property, then what would be, and how are you gonna communicate that to me? In other words, you say, you know what, Dennis? This property ended up being, eh, this is, this is my should not buy list. Okay, that's fine, but what is it about this property that, that made you make that decision? Is it because it's not in the right area for you, not the right price, not the right financing terms? Um, you just have other things going on that are sort of, you know, um, in the mind, you know, a lot of stress lately, anxiety that prevents you from thinking clearly. If that's, if that's all the case, it is, you know, let me know that. That way, the next time I send you an opportunity, I, it can be more in line with what you're looking for, right? Now, sometimes you just might have questions about a, a certain property, and a question can be a, uh, a roadblock. It's like, ah, you know what? This, this one looks so close, but... It just has this one issue. Well, let me know that too, because it might be that that issue can be overcome, right? It might be that that issue might, there might be a workaround to that, right? We might be able to find a solution. Uh, or you might be right, it's not the right one, we need to keep looking for you. So all this to say is that opportunities are coming up right now. And what I found uh, throughout my, my personal life, especially when it comes to investments, that Timing, the speed of which you can take advantage of something absolutely depends on the timing, right? Because some deals pop up and then they're gone and they're not going to come back. At least not, not certain deals, right? I will always be able to find you a property. No oh, mosquitoes out today. You know, that's, that's not the issue. The issue is on some of these things that I'm presenting, some of them are selling within three or four hours of them landing on my desk. So I'll get the phone call, Dennis, this property needs to sell. What can you do? Who do you have that it might work for? Boom, I pitch it to my clients and within literally so sometimes less than a couple hours, it's gone already. Um, other properties, because they're a little bit more of a substantial investment, you know, those are taking a, a little bit longer. Those can be a day or two. Uh, but just yesterday, I went to two different clients, the deals, 
And within 30 minutes, they both emailed me back and said, you, you know what, I'll take them. Uh, another example is myself personally. I had somebody come to me and say, Dennis, would you personally be interested in buying uh, these three properties? And I said, send me the parcel numbers, looked them up, knew the area, and within about uh, 20 minutes, email, email back and said, yeah, absolutely, I'll take them. And uh, I'm gonna be emailing my closing company today to, uh, uh, to look at researching the titles, making sure they're free and clear, making sure I can own them the way I want, and go from there. So, yeah, if any of you, uh, this resonates with any of you regarding the issue of timing and making decisions, let me know. If Belize is still on the back burner for you, that's fine, no worries. We'll keep communicating, keep in touch, keep watching my videos. Uh, however, if the time is right, or if you feel the time is getting closer to being right, let me know and we'll see how we can help you move forward. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Again, um, Maria, I appreciate the coffee today. Looking forward to talking with you soon. And uh, y'all have a good day and I hope to see you in Belize.